Hey guys, I'm Heather Audrey Lapierre, and if this is your first time to my channel, thanks for checking out this video. If you are a subscriber, thanks for being a part of this community. If you like content about faith, family, fashion, and beauty, then you want to subscribe, and that's what I share here. I look kind of crazy right now because I am going to create a look with the Urban Decay Born to Run palette and I thought that it would just be easier if I had all of my foundation and my eyebrows on. And we'll just kind of focus on the eyes today and I'll show you guys a look that I'm going to create with this. So if you haven't seen the palette, it's like a really pretty palette and it's heavy. It uh, comes with a great big mirror. Oh, that's kind of funny, eh? You can see my front porch. I'm sitting right in the window. This is normally where I film right now because the light is so good. And these are all the colors. It is a really pretty palette. And they put this together. It's called Born to Run. So the thought behind it is that you're supposed to be able to take this traveling and you can create looks for any kind of situation that you're going to be in. I've been using the palette for about two weeks now and I have played with most of the colors. I think there's maybe like a couple that I haven't played with, but for the most part, I've played with all the colors and I've mixed them and matched them and I have a lot of fun with this palette. I'm impressed with like the pigment and the blendability and the longevity of them. I think it's a really cool palette. I think that if you do love to play around with colors, this makes sense for you to be able to take on vacation. So yeah, I just put some RCMA Loose Translucent Powder under my eyes heavily so that if I do have any little like flakes of shadow fall because I'm going to be playing with colors, I think, I don't know what I'm going to do yet, but I'm going to be playing with some colors and yeah, I don't want them to fall and get messy and, and wreck my foundation. So if I do have some fallout, then I can just sweep the powder away and it will take the shadow with it. So my eyes are already primed. I just put my foundation, concealer, and powder all over my face. And so my foundation's already primed. And I'm just gonna keep it really simple, guys. Uh, I have this shadow brush here, which came in my Urban Decay Heat Palette. And I love this brush for like fast, when I'm just like moving quickly because this uh, big end here is great for getting your highlighter all over and then I just do all of my detail work with this end and I'm not fancy at all I just literally like go like this when I'm switching my colors and like dust all the shadow off that's how I roll okay so I'm gonna start all over with breakaway which is one of the highlighter colors and we're just gonna take this all over the lid So far, one of, I would say like some of my favorite colors is this pink and this one's called Still Shot and this one's called um, Baja or Baja, I don't know how to say it. But I like both of those for transition colors. I would say those are my favorite. I'm gonna go with Still Shot first. It looks really pink when I was showing you guys, but it's kind of like peachy. And I really like it, it's so pretty. So that's my transition color and I don't really have um, a plan for this look. I thought I was going to wear a blue dress today so I was going to do like blues and the greens and I just tried the dress on and I'm like, um, I don't want to wear this today. So we're s I don't know what I'm going to wear today. So we're just going to create an eye look and that I'm feeling and then my outfit will just have to be adjusted to my makeup. I don't really match my makeup to my, I, I do sometimes, but not all the time. I don't think your eyeshadow has to match your outfit. I think that your lipstick being a really like coordinating with your outfit is more important. Okay, so that's our transition. If 
you guys watched my last video, I shared about um, my sickness and my health that I walked through and I got so much love from that video and I just want to say thank you so much and I just really appreciate when you guys take the time to write a comment or send me a message. It really makes me feel good. There was lots that made me cry. So I just really appreciate that, guys. Um, okay, so I think I'm gonna go with uh, Guilt Trip now, which is this purple. What I'm getting ready for tonight is um, doing some shopping at Lambton Mall on Insta Stories, and I'm really excited because I'm going to be shopping with some new friends today. So I will link the Lambton Mall Instagram in the information box below, so you guys can check it out. There's always fun stuff going on at the mall, amazing sales and lots of like great fashions and uh, just stuff for the whole family. And I'm a brand ambassador for the mall, so I like to go, I get to go in and do Insta story, like shop with me, but I'm really excited because I have some new friends that are gonna shop with me today. I'm shopping with some teenage girls, and so I'm hoping they will like make me, make me more hip, show me their ways, their like cool, Cool ways, you know. Show me what's on trend, what's stylish. Okay, next I'm going to use. I like where this is going. I'm gonna deepen the crease with Hell Ride, this dark purple. This palette does have like an excellent mix too of mattes and like shimmers and frosty colors. I've played around with a couple of the frosty colors um, using the shadow brush wet. And I love these palettes too because I used to think this is, you know, excessive to use this many eyeshadow colors, but to me, I really see how building the colors up and doing that gradient just makes it, creates so much more depth in the look and in your eyes. So if you have a palette like this, like I know people always are like, oh, I use these three colors. We have the whole palette, just play with it, right? Just use it, build it up. If you're doing purples, use every purple or pink or whatever you want mix it all together okay so we need to make that even darker and I'm gonna use drift which is like this gray and it's definitely got some metallic look to it and basically like I just when I'm using the same brush like this for the whole look I just try to like um, pick up less product when I just want to concentrate the color lower so I'm basically creating the same shape, but you can see that I'm like keeping those darker colors lower in the crease. I don't want to go up as high with those. This color is really cool and I'm just loving how this is coming together. Wipe on the bottom lash line, whatever's left on the brush. If 
think we're almost getting to the finish line with the shadows. I'm just gonna tap into that highlighter that I started with, like literally to the tap, and then I'm just gonna go under the brow, and then I'm just gonna go back with this end. Like literally this brush is so good because you can just flip back and forth like that. I do like the heat palette too, but I just literally fell in love with this brush. Urban Decay Since the Heat Palette has really been drawing me in with their products. I've been loving the products. They're coming through. Actually, yes, I'm gonna do Stranded. So this one is like a pretty gold. I'm gonna take it on my finger. I like to do this with the metals in this palette because when you use your finger, you can really like pack it on the lid. And I'm just gonna get right, oh yes. I'm just gonna get right in the corner there. And then I just like kind of blend it in with the corner gray. I don't know what it is about applying it with your finger why that works so good but it just makes the metal show up better and then if we need to do a little blendy blend then we can no problem get that all blended up no problem no problem it doesn't have to be rocket science you know we're gonna do eyeliner, Makeup Forever, Aqua XL. You guys know about my love affair with this eyeliner. I will link the products that I'm using down below too, so you guys can check them out if you want. So I always go wider on the outer corner and then try to just bring it in. So I'm not doing a wing. But you can see it just kind of draws the eye up a little bit more. And not all of the links that I share, but a lot of the links are um, affiliate links. So I just, uh, if you guys shop from them, then I get a small commission. Just so you know, that's how that works. But. And some of the time that I'm talking about products, um, they've been given to me by PR companies, but sometimes I buy my own. I bought this. I got my this palette with my PC Optimum points. Who else loves PC Optimum points? Oh my goodness, I get all my points from groceries and then I just save them and buy makeup. Is that bad? I don't think so. Then when I have my mascara on, because I have hooded eyes, I always like to look at my eyes and I'm like, okay, this one looks like my shadow is a little bit higher, so no problem. I'm just gonna go like this. And blend this up a little bit more. And I didn't add any product to my brush. I'm just like playing with it on my eye to bring it up. Okay, good, and then we'll just give this one another little swipe, even it right out, boom, pink purple sunset eyes, that's what I'm calling it. So I've got my powder brush, sweep that away, I've got very well set under eyes now, it's essentially baked, right? And then, because I love blush and bronzer, I just brought my uh, bronzer brush. And I'm just, whatever's left on the brush, so that I don't have like a harsh under eye. Okay. What do you guys think? I think it's very pretty. Okay, that's the look. Thanks for watching this video, guys. And yeah, I love you guys. Give this video a thumbs up if you liked it. I'll see you next time.